Hello everyone, welcome to our video about Astrologic Webmail Pro. Astrologic Webmail is a fully featured, really fast HTML5 and CSS3 based webmail. Let's access Let's talk a little bit about the login page. Here you see that you have several languages. You can also set up your preferred language in your settings after you have logged in. Uh, many times you're going to see some warning about um, Afterlogic being able to handle mail to links. So if you have a link to an email, it will open automatically in Afterlogic. This will appear in your browser. Um, when logging in with here in full email address and password, you can see that it's auto saved. Type in my password. Uh, notice the checkbox Remember Me. That means that after you log in, even if you close the browser, if you come back and access the same URL, you're going to auto log in. To go back to the login page, you have to either log off from Webmail or clean your cookies in Cache. So click here and sign in. See it's offering to save the password. And we're logged in to Afterlogic Webmail Pro. Let's talk a little bit about reading emails in Afterlogic Webmail. You can see that it has this three pane view. You click on an email and it automatically loads on the right side. It's very fast webmail. You can click between each message. It's really responsive. And there are some nice features. For example, um, these are images and it has a, a view link with a, an embedded viewer. You can download. You can also get all files as a zip. So th those are some unique features. Um, here are the usual options such as reply, reply to all, forward the email. Opening a new window is really practical if you want to, you know, write an email and at the same time keep webmail open or view several emails in different tabs in the browser. Here, if you click on these three dots, you have the print download the email, EML file, and you can view the full headers of the email. When reading emails, you can also star them, click on the star, and they're going to be appearing in your starred folder. A neat option is in the sent folder, you can click on a message and there's an option to forward and there's an option to resend that email. What I personally like about Afterlogic is its fast interface and the nice features. You can be really productive. You can mark this checkbox at the top, it's going to mark all your emails. And you can, for example, you know, unmark the emails you want to keep reply to them if you want and simply click on the trash to delete all the marked checked emails. So you can read and respond emails really quick. It also has a very innovative threading feature where it groups emails. We're going to see that later in the settings. For example, this email with the same subject, notice the circle with the number one. If I click on top of it, it opens up and shows all the conversations about that topic. Expect the usual features such as being able to select emails and drag them to folders, move here, or dragging to folders. Here's a, an icon where you inform that a message is a spam and it goes to your spam folder and at the same time in your spam folder you have an icon with a thumbs up to consider an email le legitimate. You also have the search you can type in here or click on the arrow 
for more advanced options. Here I can mark in emails as unread. And I can always go back to my home page clicking on inbox or on my email address here at the top. What about sending a new email? Click on new message. Type in the address. You will see that it has autofill, so it automatically fills the rest of the email based on your contacts. You can choose to show copy field, blank copy field. You can also choose importance of the email, sens sensitivity, and request a reading confirmation. To attach files, click on the monitor icon or drag the files here. The icon besides it is to attach files from your storage, which is here on the top in files. As I said before, you can click on this icon here on the far right, top right, to open the new message dialog in a new tab in your browser so that you can you know, view the emails that you have in your inbox and at the same time write an email. So let's click, click here on my email address to go back to my inbox. Let's talk a little bit about manage folders. Here on the bottom left you have this link manage folders and it also shows your quota, how much disk space you're using. Manage folders, you can easily create new folders and if you want to organize them, change their order, click on them and drag to change the order in which they appear. You can also set up special folders such as sent items, trash, so that it matches your email client. Let's talk a little bit about anti-spam. How to deal with spam after logic. This is specific to one provider and can change according to the services that you have hired. In this provider we have basically a spam folder and if you click here on the arrow next to it, you can see a folder called hard spam. So this provider differentiates hard spam, which has emails that have bigger chances of being spam, versus spam, which also are uh, detected by the system as being spams. Many systems nowadays offer you a spam report, and it looks something like this, where you can easily click here in this case in the column via and what happens is after you click on the link it's going to open up a control panel where you can put somebody on your whitelist and deliver that person's email automatically do both both things at, well, at once the only thing is if I do that I'm gonna to have to log in with my email account again so in this webmail was customized if you click on settings you have a link here on the left side control panel there's an explanation on the, the right side about pop-ups, you know, pop-up blockers. So when you click here, Access Control Panel, there's a big chance your browser is going to block that and put a warning around here in the URL, next to the URL. So you just have to accept the pop-ups forever, and you're going to auto-log in to a control panel like this one. Here we're in the anti-spam, the spam quarantine. It's the same contents that are in your spam folder. So you can click on this checkbox and click on deliver and whitelist. That will deliver the email to your inbox and automatically put the from, the sender, in your whitelist. Or you can just deliver the email. Okay. This control panel has other features. Here in filtering we have white and blacklist, forwarding, autoresponder, and a series of other options like tracking email deliveries. Spam quarantine is where we go to see the spams. Okay, back to webmail. That's basically it about anti-spam. Let's take a quick look at Webmail Pro after logic settings. Click here on settings. Starting with common, you have several skins from which you can choose. Language, how many messages and contacts per page auto check email, date format, time format, 
threading, you can see that it is enabled, which is a feature where emails are threaded by subject. And if you click on the second checkbox, as it says here, save replied messages to current folder, threads will include your replies and will look more complete. Desktop notifications is really interesting. It's a little utility. It's a, actually a browser feature where it keeps alerting you about new emails. You can enable it, test it, see if you, if you like that feature. Email accounts is one of the powerful features in AfterLogic. You can add a new identity very, very easily. Just click on Add Identity and put, for example, another account. You want to, you want to send as if you were using another account, in this case, Test2. So when you send a new email, let's go back here, you can choose what identity you want to use. Okay. You can also add accounts, IMAP accounts, so it's really powerful. Uh, when you do that, let's do an example here. Test 2. Type in my password. And click on Add. It's going to ask for my IMAP server. And my SMTP server. Okay, here, SMTP. All right. Save. There you have it. It's that simple. Now, on the top left, you have an arrow where you can choose what account you want to view. And you get separate boxes for each one, separate sent items in box. So you don't need to log in to Webmail in several windows. You can keep everything in one interface. test account and test two account. Still in settings, we have something really important for many people, which is the signature. Here you can easily click and even put a logo using the HTML toolbar insert image option. You can use a URL or point to a file. There you go. Save and that's going to be automatically added to new emails. You can have signatures for each one of your accounts. So when I click on new email, there you have it, the signature. AfterLogic has a very complete contacts implementation. If you click here on contacts on the top, you can see that you can not only add new contacts with address, phone number, but you can also create groups which will appear here on the left side. Besides that, you can also click here on the arrow and export your contacts to CSV format, VCF, or import from CSV so that you can import your contacts from your favorite email client or from another system. A really nice feature is that you can create a group. Okay, well, let's create one group. Let's add one more contact because we have two few contacts. And when you click on the group on the left side, you can see that you can easily send an email to the group. And if you want to drag other users to the group, all you have to do is drag into the group. Want to send an email to all of them? Click on email to this group or see emails with this group. If you want to fetch the emails and put them in a blind copy or something, email to this group. There you go. Click here on the top on calendar and you're going to see that there's a very nice visual calendar where you can view by day, week, or today. Scroll through the dates and you can add several calendars. To add an event it's very simple. Just click on new event and you can also click here on the alarm 
to enable an alert. Remember that in settings there's more information, mobile sync, where you can sync all this data with your client, desktop client or your smartphone tablet. You can also click on this arrow next to my calendar, edit your calendar, color name, import an ICS file with events from another server, and here in Get Link, you have the URL for DAV access, CalDAV. And if you click here on this icon, you can download the ICS file with all your events, which can be imported in another server or another account in AfterLogic. Notice the checkbox where you can make a public web link to this calendar. A new feature in Webmail Pro is Files. It lets you easily create new folders, categories, and upload files or create here shortcuts to external documents. Let's click on Upload Files. Let's choose a file that we want to attach. There you go. We can view it. We can download it. If you select it, what is very interesting is this Create Public Link. If you click on it, gives you an address that you can share with your colleagues to download files in a safe way. If you delete it, of course, nobody will be able to download it thereafter. So you can keep your more important files here categorized and the other options here include download file, which you can use the link down here, send files to someone via email, the public link I just talked to you about and deleting files. So let's click here on upload file and shows the upload progress, size of the file. That's basically it about files in Webmail Pro. There are some other nice features in Webmail Pro I didn't talk about. So let's start about settings. We talked about most of these options. Calendar, you can set up your favorite preferences in terms of time, date. This is where you enable cloud storage files module. Mobile sync is really interesting. You can use the information here to set up your device. You can, you can synchronize your contacts and events, for example, with Apple devices, iOS, Android, and other clients such as Thunderbird with, with the plug-in Lightning and Thunder, Thunderbird with Sogo for contacts and many other programs support CallDAV. So here you have all the addresses that are necessary and also access to your files through your file system in Windows or Mac or Linux. Some of the other nice features in AfterLogic Webmail include a web admin panel, so domain admins can manage their Webmail, several settings such as customized logo. Um, it also has some really nice plugins, for example, one that lets you change your password via Webmail, use Open PGP, integration with Own Cloud SSO, you can save files as PDF, emails as PDF and integration with Google Drive and Dropbox. Depending if C filters are installed on your server, you might have the options for mail filters, forwarding and autoresponder embedded in Webmail. That's it. Thank you for your time.